Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all having a blessed day. Uh, today, <clears throat> I figured I, I have all these little scraps from my last project and I need to use them because I can't throw them away. <laughs> well, I saved the best of the best. But I need to make some ephemera for some books that I'm working in. So I figured I would just show you what I do. I make these on a bigger scale, but I did just decide to do this size for now. I'm going to make snippet roll. Um, I'll show you my process on how I do it. I do have a quick tutorial up, but I figured we'll make this a little bit longer. So, and, and I honestly think... I don't know if it's my service, but when I watch the quick tutorial that I have, it looks a little blurry to me. So hopefully this is not blurry. Okay, I use Fabricac Blue. Um, I always, I mean, I you can make it whatever size you want, but whenever I make a snippet roll, I usually venture in the around the one inch size. You can make two inches, three inches. You can, I've seen so many beautiful ones in all different sizes. But however, for the purposes today, I'm just doing a one inch, a little bit more than one inch, one and a quarter, it looks like, length, uh, width. Um, I have a, a bunch of old muslin and I just ripped up this piece to, um, to do it on there. I've seen it where you can make your snippet rolls on paper. Um, you could do strips of paper and then just glue your pieces on there. I've seen it um, a bunch of different ways up on a bunch of different things. I am using a piece of muslin. Oh, ribbon. I've also seen it done on ribbon. Okay. And seam binding too. You can, I've seen the vintage, I've done it myself on the vintage seam binding. Um, you don't, you know, you're not using it for anything else. And it's not the ribbon kind, the kind that makes the ribbon. It's the one that uh, binds around the blankets. Sometimes you can find those for a quarter in, in the um, used or secondhand stores. Well, let's get started. So first, what I do is I have this one inch width that I work with. And I have this is, I believe it's 24 inches today. So just a little less than a yard and I just start going. I use paper, I use fabric, and I use book pages. I use digital kits that I've worked with. Um, yeah, that's really it. I do have a color scheme. You do not have to have a color scheme. You can do it as crazy as your heart wants to. <laughs> I don't. Again, remember if you're not wanting the whites to show on some of your digitals, you, in your dominant hand, you pull back when you're tearing it apart. And then I just go to town. I do sew mine. Um, I always do. So I will be sewing this and so there'll be a pause at the end of this video and then we'll come back to it so I could show it to you when it's sewed and all finished. But we'll go ahead and get started here um, making the snippet roll. And then you can use them um, in, in all of your projects. Um, they're good for, look at me, I did it backwards. They're good for um, page tabs, um, tag toppers, um, just a little something pretty on a page um, pull, page pulls or tabs I said that already uh, little pieces to give in happy mail yeah they're they're just so useful I love them I really never make one for myself but I do need one for my books coming up my I have many books that I'm in working on besides the video with you I'm working on lots of other things too and I'm only one woman you know <laughs> okay so um, update from my kids 
they are well. They made it to LA. I didn't even know they were already there. I thought, I thought I would catch them before they leave. You know, I tell, I told, I have three sons. I told them, if you, there's one thing that you have to call your mama. If you're getting on a plane, you need to call her and tell her that you are boarding a plane <laughs> and when you've landed safely. Um, they didn't get the memo. <laughs> boys will be boys. Um, when I'm gluing things down on here too, I just use a little bit because I'm going to sew this. If you're not going to sew it, my suggestion would be to make sure that you cover all of the pieces that you want to stay down on your snippet roll. Um, I am going to sew this, so I'm not too concerned. I just want it to stay on the piece of uh, backing that I'm using, which here I'm using fabric. I will be adding fabric also to the snippet roll. You can add paper and fabric. I will be adding both. Um, let's see. Yeah, so they, uh, they landed safely in L.A. My son is um, very big. Well, to me, he's huge. <laughs> he's a big, big star. <laughs> he's in the music industry. And they've been at it this, this is a lifetime goal of theirs. Um, they are in their uh, late 20s. And um, he hit it really big last year. Uh, they had a show in the summertime. And right before the show, they would leave, they, they released like a TikTok, and their song got on the radio. My older son is the manager. Their song got on the local radio, and the TikTok went viral. And it was it had the song playing in it. It's called "I Used to Care," and my son's name is Luya L O U Y A H. The song's name is "I Used to Care," and. It went viral and I was just so happy for them and they had their show th two weeks later and then the show was sold out it sold out before the song went on the radio so he had a sold out show before his song went viral so I'm really proud of them and they've accomplished so much this past year he's, he's got new songs out and he just wrote a song for my dad well, he, I, I'm sorry, he wrote that last year. Last year, he wrote a song for my dad. My dad passed away in in January, and he wrote me a song to ease my, my heart, and he's just so loving. Um, and his the song is coming out. I did not think that it was going to be coming out so soon. I thought, you know, when they, I hear so many songs from them, and then they don't release them. <laughs> and, then I, and then I don't hear them for a while. But it is coming out and I'm so excited and he's promoting it. And I'm really excited about it. So they went to L.A. Because of course people want to talk to him. <laughs> Last time my son went to L.A. They met Snoop Dogg. My, my son, he, he had Snoop Dogg. He talked to him. Well, my older son met Snoop Dogg. And then my... My boy who sings, he couldn't go because he wasn't feeling well. So Snoop Dogg FaceTimed him. Oh, it was great. I was like, w well, you if you ever get the chance to meet Snoop Dogg again, you better tell him to put a message in to Martha for me. You know, I want to meet Martha. <laughs> who doesn't? Okay, this, I don't like this. Look, I'm not paying attention. This is a piece of wallpaper. Maybe we'll just put this up here. Yeah, I didn't like it pieced together. I'm just babbling on, telling you about my kids. I'm so proud of them. Proud mom here. Yeah, so they're in L.A. and they're meeting people and they got stuff going on. I'm so proud of them. Proud mom. We all are proud of our kids, I'm sure. I need to put some fabric in here somewhere because I keep doing it all paper. Maybe I'll just do it all paper. That'll be new for me. But I like fabric. But it's coming out nice with paper. 
It's like a, it's like an itty bitty collage. Itty bitty. Um, this is all I really do. Just piece together um, the paper and the fabric. How I would if it was bigger. Except it's not bigger, it's smaller. <laughs> Let's see. That looks good there. Like this. And I just used a tiny bit again because I'm going to be sewing it. And I don't want my sewing machine to hate me. It probably already does. And I'm using scraps that I would have thrown away. I don't even throw away the scraps though part, you know. This part that I don't use, I keep because I make paper in the summertime. I make handmade paper. I can't wait. I'm going to make some paper. I ran out of my handmade paper. I need to make some more. Um, what else do I got? Yeah, so my... my my kids got their life going on with their music and I might be a, a famous rock star mama one day. You don't know. You never know. I think he's going to be just as big as any other artist that there is out there that's big. <laughs> Personally. And I, I like his music. If you like Post Malone or John Mayer, you should check them out. You might like them too. Okay. That's good. Uh, maybe we should add some fabric. I'm doing all paper. We need some fabric. Mm, this looks good. I need it. My fabric scissors. Except I think they're buried. Hmm. Huh. You know why? I'll show you. This is my this is my drawer. See that? That's my drawer of junk paper. Scraps from projects. It's a lot. But it's contained. <laughs> and I have bags of it, you know. Bags of just my my paper scraps. Oh yeah. My paper scraps are for when I make my paper. Okay, a little, a little fabric looks pretty. And then maybe a little piece up here. Um, oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. I feel like the light is off today. I don't know if it is or it isn't. Okay. Oh, we, we have a little bare spot there. So, what do I have? I have something. Oh, see, I have these little pieces too. I could use this. This was that bunny fabric that I have in the packs and <clears throat> there wasn't anything on them, so. I could still use the fabric though in some in some way there's a flower here what could I do I don't know if this fabric rips no it didn't oh there's the ladybug oh she's back Ugh. now I have like two or three and what flew by my ear. I don't like that. But she doesn't listen. Just doesn't listen. And look, look, here she is. You cannot be here right now. You just can't. You gotta go. Shoo, shoo. Watch her come back with a vengeance. Oh. 
I didn't like that there. We'll have to use it somewhere else. I do need something right here, though. Don't worry. I have it in my little pile of scraps. <laughs> I do. I promise you that. Okay. That's good. Yeah, so, and these, <clears throat> these little piles of scraps after this pile of scraps, <laughs> if that makes any sense to you. It should, if you're in the business I am. Uh, I'll use that for paper. Making paper. I need to close this. I'm not using it. Okay. I basically used the fabric tack on here because... Because it's with the fabric. Mm, nope. I need some more color. Let's bounce back into some color. We're going plain down there. Hmm. Yeah. I got a lot of scraps. But this is a fun way <clears throat> to use up your stuff. You know? It's just fun. I love it. I forget where I saw the first, I, you know what, it might have been with Roxy Creations. I might have seen her do a snippet roll at first, the first time. But you, when you do your own snippet roll, you obviously have your own style. So um, her snippet rolls are, are, they were like bigger pieces. And then I think Gail... Uh, Gail Agostinelli, her snippet rolls are, will she do the snippet crap? You know, I don't know if I've ever seen her make a snippet roll or at her video, maybe she has one out. I remember her, she did the, um, the snippet, like you did six on a piece of paper. I forget, they're called snippets maybe, just snippets. I liked those, those are fun too. I don't know that I saw her make a snippet roll. This piece of my avocado dyed paper. It's my favorite thing to do too. I don't let anyone throw away avocado pit in this house. No. No, no, no. Not allowed. What else do I have? Come up. Some embossing. Yeah, why not? It's in the color scheme. Well, these are basically all the colors that I use, so it's going to be in the color scheme. Okay. <clears throat> I'm do some pink. And you can place it on here first. <clears throat> place it on there first. And you don't have to glue it down right away. Sometimes I mindlessly do this. And then there are other times where I, I, I want to place it first before I glue down. But then there are times when I'm just very sure and want something and that's it. I just do it. And after making them uh, so many times, you'll get to that point, too, where you'll just do it. You'll just know. You'll know. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And now, I'm making more scraps here, but that's okay. Remember, because I'm going to use that to make paper. And I'm going to put that there. I'm trying to build up more pink in my, because it's getting away from the pink and more into the neutrals. And I, oh, here is a piece. Oh, that ladybug. Oh. I just don't like it. I know it's part of nature. I have a very bad, uh, I don't like bugs. <laughs> 
they're nice and all. I'm glad they're here. I, I know a lot of things wouldn't work if we didn't have them. But I, I'm squeamish, squeamish when it comes to bugs. Okay. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot of artists that do the, um, I've seen it many, many ways, this snippet roll. Many, 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 many ways. I like them all, but I'm partial to this smaller one because I could use it more places in my book. And in the um, <clears throat> pockets and things like that, oh, look, I just made it too small. It's not what I wanted. Um, in the pockets and things like that, and the uh, tucks and all those things, I don't... I don't usually I just collage on it I don't make a snippet roll that size but I have seen if you make your snippet roll big I've seen it where they use that for that kind of a thing like pockets and tucks and this is not gonna work I wanted polka dot in here but let's try it again I'm gonna cheat normally I rip things but I want a piece of this pink polka dot and every time I rip it it's too small we'll do that okay good I should probably start gluing down I'm gonna lose it okay slide it down It's coming out cute. And these are fun to make. And very useful in your journals. Whoops, I need to do this first. And like I said, if you don't sew, <clears throat> make sure that you glue everything down good so that it stays if you do so you only need to use a little bit see how that's coming out that's so cute oh yeah I think we need some more blue because we have blue in a few places not that I'll be using this whole thing on in one place but we'll make it cohesive here's a piece of blue I got. Oh, here's a piece of blue. It's like a ticket. We'll put that on there. Right there. No, it's covering up too much. Maybe by itself. Let's see. We'll hold on. We'll hold a minute. We'll hold out a minute. Oh, here's some fabric I took. This has blue in it. These scissors are dull from using them with gl glue. Did you know that glue dulls your scissor? Just kidding. <laughs> Oh, but it does, but I did know that. Okay. Let's do that. And then, the, do I want that there? Hold on. I may not, it's getting busy. I mean, I may need to separate the busy. That's a, well, that's another one of my methods. I'll separate. I won't let it get too busy before I mellow it down. And then I'll go back to busy. <laughs> yes. Let me do that. 
And then I also want to lift up this fabric just a little bit so I could put the paper underneath it to cover up my ripped edge and then let the, the fabric fray a little bit. That looks cute. I don't know how a, a collage could look cute with ripped pieces of paper, but to me it does look cute. Let me do that. No, I like the number. I like the number showing. Okay. What I drop? I drop something. Well, I can't use it now because I'm not going to look for it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What else do we need? Um, how about? How about a piece of this? That's good. There. Um, there. Good. What else? I move from side to side. I move it up and down also so I can see. Uh, gauge where things go if I have a lot of something I'll place it strategically a little at the top a little in the middle and a little at the bottom so that I could use it all and, and then it could also be cohesive but do I keep using that word it must be my word of the day cohesive um, Oh wait, this is another piece of that wallpaper. Oh, I like that. Mm, it looks like a heart. <laughs> How cute. Let me put that, no. I might put it right there. Looks like a heart. I need something for over here. How about <clears throat> a piece of pink? So, so see now, I want to put this pink here because it goes with the flow, but I'm going to switch it around, put this over here. I'll put the pink on this side. And then I can keep this there and I'll add the pink on this side so that I don't have pinks all lined up on one side. It kind of the opposite side. And then I'll put that heart right there in the middle. And what else? How about a little piece of this music paper? And oh, we have three minutes left. Do my timer goes off? That's all right. We can go over just a little bit today. Um, how about a piece of this? This way. Let's glue this stuff down. I'm judging it first. All right, wait, so I did this. I wanna do this one first because I would like it <coughs> there. And then this one on top. I Sometimes I go over the sides, sometimes I don't. It all depends. It all depends, really. And we'll do this here. And it's a piece of avocado dyed paper. I think I'm going to leave it long. I was going to rip it, but you know what? I'm going to be using it at the bottom part anyway. Um, do I want it on the top? Yeah. I want it underneath because I ripped the... I ripped the Florentine paper, the little piece of it, so that covers that. And a piece of this music paper. And a little heart. We wanted that to go right here. Little wallpaper heart. Okay, we're almost done. 
How about another little piece of this fabric here? The blue one. I did like it. I do like it. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I do have another piece of this blue left. I like that there. Um, what else do I have? And you can really, you know, you can just create, create, create your imagination. Let it go. Let it go wherever you want it to go with these snippet rolls. Actually, with that, whatever artwork you do, right? This is just a piece of embossed handmade paper. Then I have a little tiny bit left. Tiny, tiny. Okay. We'll put that at the end. Then I'm going to put this blue. Oh, no, you didn't. I'll just wipe it off. Put this blue here, like that. Oh, not cloud today. Okay, we'll just still keep going a little bit. It's not, it's not too bad for me to go just a tiny bit over my scheduled time. Let's see, how does this look down here at the end? Now, oh, yeah, I like that. Hey, I'm always sticking in my stuff. I'm always sticking to my stuff. I like that on the end. Okay, I need to clean this up just a tiny bit. And then, I do have a, a trick I want to let you in on. Well, it's not really a trick. Like, I'm not a magician. However, if you are working on a theme for your junk journal, look how pretty this came out. This came out so pretty. I love it. Now, y'all know I've been working on bunny journals. And there isn't a bunny in sight here. I Because I use them all in the journals. Uh -huh. But I have a little trick for those of you that don't know this. Well, I did already say it in my other video of my snippet roll. But this is what I do. When I want a little bunny or a little something, I take a little piece of fabric. Um, I'm trying to see if I have any muslin left. Maybe I do. I do. I do, I do, I do. Okay, so we're going to take a little piece of this muslin. Maybe we'll take like three pieces. Okay. And then I just take my bunny stamp and you guessed it, I stamp on the muslin and then I will sew it. Um, I'm using worn lipstick it's like a little pink right or do I want raspberry oh well, I'll use this okay and then I put my little bunny right on my piece of muslin or whatever fabric you'd like <gasps> look how cute oh my goodness and then I go and find a place for it to go and it just it comes out so cute like that and then you can kind of even though I covered stuff up it's okay it's okay it's all right um you can make this whatever whatever theme you want whatever let's do a few more it makes it so that you if you have little stamps you can do whatever theme you'd like here I just I think this is a little bit longer I have a flower but I use the flower a lot in my work so why not use it in my 
Snippet Wolf. Isn't that just great? Okay, I'm gonna do another, another one little piece here. Or where was I? I lost my place. Okay, there. And we will go down, up, down, up. Okay, and we'll find another place for a bunny, I'm sure. How about right? How about right there? Probably gonna cover up the wallpaper, but that's all right. We'll have another bunny. Do we want the same one? Let's see. Oh, hey, you know what? I just thought of something. I just thought of something I've never done. Why don't we just stamp it on there so we don't lose any of the images. Normally I put it on fabric. Oh. Um, well, he kind of got crooked. So guess what? It'll be our secret. <laughs> We're gonna cover it up. <laughs> Wait, this one's too big. Is it? Yeah. I need a it's, look mistakes happen <coughs> and then we move on oh wait maybe here no nope. because then I have that fabric already oh my goodness I tried something new and I messed it up I'll put him on here anyway for now I'm not yet using him oh but look how cute oh my goodness but he's too, see I have this, the rosebud fabric there, so I don't want to put it again, but look how cute. It came out adorable. I need to, um, I need a bigger piece of muscle to put that bunny on. That one's too small. Okay. All right. This will work. There we go. That's good. I covered things up though, but it's okay. It really is. It's okay. There's no rules. There's only ideas. There's no rules. All right. Okay, adorable. So now we're gonna go right over where we were. I thought it would work. But it doesn't because you can't really see it with the deck with the uh, Florida lease paper. It looks like part of the bunny's missing. All right. Now, how cute! Oh my goodness, I can't even take it. So I'm gonna go sew this up, and now I'll come right back, and I'll just put these videos together. I'll be right back through the magic of television. My desk will probably be magically cleaned too. Bippity boppity boo. Okay, see that? Bippity boppity boo. My desk is clean. Not really, but we'll just go with that. And here we are. This is the finished snippet roll. What I did was sew a, uh, in a straight line around the edges. Actually, um, let me reverse that. I sewed a decorative stitch down the center first to catch everything as I went. And then I started a straight line and just went all the way down one side, across the bottom, and came all the way back up the other side and across the top to finish it off. I think it looks so cute. I can't wait to use it in my journals. I hope I've inspired you to also make a snippet roll and create your own theme or your own your own colors or however you can create it or want to create it it's just a fun thing and a fun project to use up the rest of your scraps and of course that's what we all do right use up our scraps and make more <laughs> we all make more scraps but thank you so much for watching and I will be back soon I promise We'll, we'll do some more. Um, I think I want to do some tags. I saw a channel I was watching the other day, and she has some tags. It's not my style, but it's absolutely what I would love to try to make and put into my style a little bit more. Um, 
So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that next, and I'll be back soon. Like I said, I do have some videos up now um, that I've just posted recently, and I have um, a new kit in my shop uh, related to bunnies, and I hope you're all inspired to make um, an Easter journal. I hope I've inspired you to create in some way today. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.